expand to Bobby Yago away, so it seems the Valkyries line you are in, you just do not it. You go, okay, you've got one for Hex Mambo running that back. Same as game. So at least for the mid laner, I may have to wait on that. It's King Arthur once more for Julio for their final ban. And it will be Discordia now if I Sam on that pick. I think it will terrify him, and I think Biden Jungle? No world where, where we don't see Johnny just go for one of his signature picks. And into that soul lane, and sure enough, he's over here on this right-hand side as well. We'll get a little bit of damage off onto Johnny, but Johnny's willing to fight back into it. I'm not sure he, he maybe wants to take that fight. Julio keeping a query. The question with Sam for soccer now on, on this mage pick, he may actually look for this aggression earlier than we were expecting. That is free indeed. The Kraken lands and first blood goes to Sam for soccer. Aqua just really close to that kill threshold. Gamma stuns good. Similar here into the Astral Arrows. Misses second though, has to hit the third. And the CC is beautiful. It's some MP5, which he is desperately needing, electing to go away from the eye of the jungle, so sustain on field for him. Rotation from Sam for soccer and the Kraken on to Cossacks will slow them down and force him to run the wrong direct health for the remaining two members just to pick for the Valks. Sam maintaining presence around the neutral farm. Doesn't have Kraken. Oh my. Wow, he baited forward too far. No ultimate to confirm, but it's Johnny into the tower and a simple pickup from there. Does he continue the fight though? Again, no Kraken for Sam. Sam looks to fight Johnny and he's cons he's confident in this backline. Maybe he shouldn't be just turning around and getting that. Likely similar projections. That said, it is still a significant lead across the oh board. My. He Johnny. does not get to play the game. Mage is just going tier two items yep. and completely leaving it behind. Seems to me that's the case here. Gamma traps in Hawk, and the damage Yikes. comes through instantly. Hawk is surrounded and taken down early on in this one. It's Julio controlled on the right-hand side to the Valkyries. Their best look at an objective here. But it's not without intrigue. Keep your eyes on Spudio. It's the steal potential. It's got to be perfect. It's early. Up at half HP. He's waiting for the right time, and he's not in time. The Valkyries do it right. Yeah, and the Stygian Beacon, you, you at least got to put some pressure on it. It's only Crimson here to start this one off, and Hex Mob have already grabbed halfway on to this domination point. Rup Crimson and Gamma now are the ones in the control of the objective, and Aquarius is rotated over as well just to make sure the Valkyries feel comfortable, and as such, they will grab this first Stygian Beacon. I want to go back to for the Poseidon. Poseidon, it's just about when you ever stack up that penetration. Johnny in first. Does he have the damage? Aegis early and still holding on to that second relic and dashes aggressively but back towards his team. And that may be the key is the beads and the water illusion forced early for Johnny. And he runs towards his support as well. Time for soccer. Holds on to his second relic, and I say all that just to bring up the fact that he does in fact have a heavenly sprint yeah. out of the jungle. So there is no Aegis for Sam for soccer. There is no shell, so any bit of damage that goes his way will stick. Has no immunity to play with. Aquarius may be the target here. It's Johnny still having that execute in the tank, and it will be on to Aquarius, the first death in a while. Hex Mambo down the soul in as a result, but that may open up a window. On the left-hand side is Spudio and Kha'Zix just off the mark with the Kraken, though. And the follow-up is not there. Maybe if that knock a bit come through, could have found the answer back. At least they'll take away the purple. Yeah, strips away the beads for both Kha'Zix and Spudio, though. So synced up beads timers means that there will be plenty of opportunities to come around that duo lane, as well as the Aegis. The right-hand side. And with Johnny on this right side of the map, this may be the window that they were looking for. Gold Fury picked up and shredded down to 50% early on. Kraken available and may look for the secure here as Spudio may go up and look for the steal. It's got to be good. They've got the coin flip and they win the coin flip. The Primal Fury goes to the Valve. Julio looking to flank a little bit as well. He'll come in onto this capture point. It's already halfway there for the Valkyries. They'll grab it and they'll flag it onto Julio as the damage comes through and he gets shredded but makes it out by a miracle, and Gamma is the one that gets turned on. Hawk finds Wowie as well, and Hex Mambo out of nowhere make their presence known. Julio gets out by the skin of his teeth, and now is back in at full HP. They'll grab the capture point. They even push down mid lane, maybe. Sometimes luck is just on your side, Frog. Julio makes his way out. 
just barely. Johnny holds on to the ultimate, and beads have already been burnt. Keep up the aggression. He's here, may look for a flank once again. We saw how poorly that went for the Valkyries in game number one, but they will stop the push early on, just grab that tier one and head back towards the Pyromancer. They don't need either of the Gold Furies. They are more concerned with the fights, and a big fight win around that Stygian Beacon is huge for X Mambo to even back up. In fact, take an aggressive lead here. That flips on its head. It's no longer a 1,500 lead uh -oh. for the Valkyries. It's going to be in Hex Mambo's favor, but they might try to do the same thing that they did in game number one and catch Hex Mambo off guard. And this time, they may be in a better position to do it. Onto the Fire Giant, and Hex Mambo's a little bit later to this one. The shred potential is quick. there. It's down to 50% HP, but they choose the fight instead, and Julio is gone early on in this fight, but they're still onto the objective. They have to be careful with this leash. Sam for soccer, real low. That's it for his team fight, Fire Giant. Reset entirely, <gasps> oh! and the shots are good from Spudio. Makes it look easy. Set for soccer. Sent to the grayscale. Julio in trade, but he'll respawn sooner. And when he respawns, he's got teleport. Sent for soccer. Anywhere he wants to go, he'll have to walk the old-fashioned way. This will be a small advantage to Hex Mambo. Could catch out the Oni Fury on respawn. Could head over to the Fire Giant. Seems to me Oni Fury the easier target. And Mambo... They've always got this fight back potential in a team fight. They play so well off of each other that any small opportunity will be leveraged. On to the Oni Fury. They will get a rotation in from the Valkyries, though. This will not be a free objective if Aquarius has anything to say about it. But it's going down somewhat fast. Down to 50% HP. And look for Johnny and Julio on the back end of this fight, pushing the Valkyries out. They want to hold on to this as long as possible. They care about the fight. They'll get the objective as well. But after the fact, they look to de-engage and cause... Even that we're only 22 minutes into the game. There are plenty of power spikes to come. We're starting to approach sixth item slot. Why force it now? Julio may be getting forced down here. The ultimates get used, and he grabs Gamma up into the sky. Kha'Zix is here to potentially help him out. But the Kraken is off the mark onto the tanks, and both of them find safety under jump this in. tier one tower. The jump in is will dead? send Erupt Crimson to the grave, and he gets taken down as Mambo answer back and look for the snipe. One uh -huh. hits, two hits off the mark with the third, but that does not stop the engage. The water illusion finds the kill, and one once again, two fall on the fight back from Mambo. Cracking down, nobody dead from Mambo. Mambo win the team fight. It is like clockwork. That is the second, maybe third time this game we've seen that exact phrasing. We've seen that exact sequence. And Hex Mambo this time, later in the game, capable to do a bit more on the back end. Fire Giant going quickly and will go to all five. And looking at resources, no beads for Sam for soccer. Creation. And you're not lacking for a standard mage, which you generally are, when you've taken a hunter in towards mid. Sam for soccer. We'll keep those mini waves out. Want to have success in this push, but it's the full engage Yikes. there. And the counter engage come through from the tanks. The Kraken is off the mark again. And Erupt Crimson is the target of these Astral Arrows. He has to put the Juke Shoes on. And miraculously, all five members from the Valkyries live. But you can't say the same for the structure. And you cannot say the same for this middle Phoenix as they continue to push this down. They don't have a minion wave, though, and they've got they the Phoenix Bomb. They'll They'll take the bird. Johnny on the right hand side. If the Valhalla Valkyries get a bit spry here. A lackluster Fire Giant Siege. I mean, that is yeah. a very long defense for the Valhalla Valkyries. They don't lose any life, but TKO on five. Lose both the Titan is still almost full HP as it pushes into the Phoenix here, but Hex Mambo, they think better of it. And even though Aquarius is on the engage, everybody from Mambo backs off the left. Our positioning in the jungle. Let's go ahead and just pull the Fire Giant. Hex Mambo playing intelligently around their push. Fire Giant's going to burn quickly here, and it's Gamma and Aqua in already. They've got the positioning here, and Julio's in the front. He'll get trapped in with that tectonic shift, but will get jumped out with the Phantom Shell as well, and burning a couple of ultimates on both Yikes. sides. Samper Soccer gets chunked watch by the Johnny. Astraleros, and watch Johnny in the back. He'll take Sam's life, 
and he may look for more as the rest of the team is in on to the members here of the Valkyries falling low and Johnny finds a double Bless. gamma is next on the chopping block and Julio finds a fourth it's only Aquarius left alive, and we can't say that for much longer. Two different double kills for the Valhalla, or for the Hex Mambo, rather, and they'll push down and take game number two. Hex Mambo, so convincing in their team fight, absolutely tear apart the Valhalla Valkyries. One resource gone, beads off a of sand for soccer, and Johnny says, I'll be headed up to the air, and I'll deliver my death unto whoever I make contact with. This Alquang, this jungler, this team, in Hex Mambo, just so clean and concise in their play. Objective play, they come with a clear identity as well. This is two drafts in a row where the, the strategy is written on the wall. Let's get to the five-on-five -five team fight. Let's prolong the game. Let's make sure neutral objectives aren't going down. And they execute on it so well both times. A team that you have to keep your eyes on all week. Oh, no doubt about it. And I, I'm not sure.